Hey guys, in today's video, I want to show you how to create a separate model for your mini to mini relationships in Django when you want to add some extra information to your mini to mini relationships. So by default, when you create a mini to mini relationship in Django, what happens is it creates this third table for you that actually keeps track of the relationship and you just modify the two models that you're concerned with. So as an example, let's say we have members and groups, you have a member table that has the potential people who can join the group. So names of the members, and then you have the actual groups. So you have the names of the groups. And then when you want to associate the members in the groups, you have a mini to mini field and Django will go ahead and create a third table for you that will just create the connection between the two, which is basically just the foreign key for both tables. But if you have to add some extra information onto the relationship, like for instance, when they joined or their role in the group, then using the default won't work. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually do that in Django. So let's get started with the code. I've already set up uh, a basic Django app. So what I'll do is I will I'll write code for a simple model and we'll see how it works by default and then I'll modify it so we can have a third model that keeps track of extra information in the relationship. So for my example, I'm going to create two classes. One will be students, so models.model and each student has a name and it's going to be a char field. So let's say the max uh, length is going to be 30, really doesn't matter. I'll define a stir field so I can see it in the admin dashboard, self.name. And then I'll also do the same for the course that they are going to be enrolled in, so course. And everything looks good here. So what I can do is I can uh, make the migration. So make migrations. And I'll go ahead and uh, migrate this so I can start working with it. And for the admin, what I'll do is um, I'll import those two. So student and course. And then I will say admin site uh, register, both student, and we'll do the same thing for course. Okay, so I have two models. There's no relationship between the two yet, but we'll be able to see these on the admin screen. So now if I refresh the page, we see courses and students. And of course, there's no relationship between the two, so you know, I'm not going to add the students or the courses yet, but we see it's just a basic uh, model. So now I'm going to modify my models or just one of them to have the uh, enrollments. So we'll say on course, we'll have a list of students that are enrolled in the course. So we'll have this be a bottle dot mini to mini field. And this is going to be a mini to mini field with student. And now if I make migrations and then migrate, we'll see the relationship in the admin dashboard. So now I have to actually add some students. So I'll go ahead and do that. So for students, I'll add a couple of students. Uh, one will be Anthony. Uh, another will be Brittany. And a final one will be Camden. Okay. And then I'll go back to the courses table and I'll add a couple of courses. So uh, we'll call this computer science and we'll put Anthony and Brittany in this course. And we'll have another course, we'll call this math and we'll put Brittany in Camden in the course. So save. And now if I look at one of the courses, I can see everyone who is in the course. And to show you how this looks in the database, what I'll do is I'll open up SQLite and I have db.sqlite3 here. And I have three tables that represent everything. So I have example course. So the name of my app is example. So everything is going to be pre-printed by example. So example course, I see computer science and math. Then I have a student table. I see the three students that I added. And then I have this table called course students. Django created this for me and it just creates the relationship between the two. So we have course ID one 
and student ID number one is enrolled in that course. Student ID one is Anthony. And then student ID two is also in course ID one, and that's Brittany. And she's also enrolled in the other course, math, course ID two. And Camden is enrolled in math as well. So that's what it looks like in the database. But as you can see, I can't associate any extra information uh, with this, like the date that they enrolled in the course or let's say the grade that they got in the course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that now. So to do that, let me comment out my models. So when I go to make the migrations again, it will delete it. And I have to do the same here. So now I can say, uh, make migrations. And I didn't spell that correctly. And then what I want to do is I want to migrate this and it go, it will delete everything for me. And now if I remove the comments and I add a third model, so this is going to be the model that represents both the relationship and the extra information about that relationship. So I'll call this enrollment, enrollment, and it's going to be models.model. So the special thing about this particular model that I have to do is I have to have foreign keys back to the two models that I'm concerned with. So in this case, student in course. So I'll have one for students. So models uh, foreign key, and it's going to be student on delete is going to be uh, models.cascade. And then I'll do the same thing for the course. So models foreign key, and we'll have course here on delete models.cascade. And now we can add the extra information that we're concerned with. So for example, uh, date enrolled is going to be models uh, date field. And then I'll also have, let's say a final grade. So this is going to be a models dot Harfield max length is going to be one. And then I'll make this blank equals true and null equals true because we'll say at the end of the course, they get the grade, not as soon as they enroll. So I have that. And now to get this table to work with my many to many relationship, I have to add an extra argument here. The name of the parameter is called through and the argument itself is going to be the name of the third model. And this needs to be a string. So enrollment here. So now if I, make migrations and then if I migrate and finally I need to uh, add everything to admin again. So I'll add enrollment and then I'll uncomment that and I'll add enrollment down here. Okay, so that should be enough. So let's start up the server. Now let's take a look. So we have the three that we're interested in. So courses, enrollments, and students. So I have no students because I deleted the model. So I'll go ahead and add the same students. So Anthony, Brittany, and uh, Camden. Okay, and then I'll add the same courses as well. And notice when I go to add a course, I can't select the students that go in the course because it's no longer being handled automatically for me. I have to go through enrollment. So one course is math and the other course is computer science. Okay, so if I go back and I go to enrollments, now I can create an enrollment. So this means I can create an association between a student and a course. So I can select Anthony and I can put him in math and I can also say the date enrolled. So let's say May 3rd, and I can give him a final grade or I can leave it blank. So I'll do that. Now, Brittany, I'll enroll her in math as well, and we'll put her in on May 1st. And then we'll do one more for Camden, put him in computer science. Let's say he enrolled back in April and he got an A for the course. So saving, we have these three objects and they represent the relationship between the students and the courses. So if I go back to VS Code and look at the SQLite Explorer, 
Just refresh that. I now have this example enrollment table. And when I open it up, I see I have the course ID, the student ID, so one and one. So Anthony is enrolled in math. And then no final grade, it's null. And the same thing for Brittany. And then Camden is enrolled in computer science and he got an A. And we can also see the dates enrolled for all of those students. So you can put as much information on here as you want, as long as it makes sense for the relationship. So let's demonstrate a problem. So we already know Anthony is enrolled in math. So if I add Anthony here and math again, and let's say today and save, nothing happens. Well, it adds it to the database, but this may not be what you want. So I have Anthony in math here, but also Anthony in math here. And I don't want that to work. I want it to fail. I want each student to be able to enroll in a course once. We're assuming that they can't retake a course. So what I'll do is I'll delete this particular enrollment and I'll modify my model a little bit so I can create a unique relationship between multiple fields in my uh, enrollment. So to do that, I'm going to create the meta class here and I'm going to use a field called unique together. And this is going to take a list of lists and inside of the nested list, what we're going to have is the list of fields that should be associated together, that should be unique together. So in this case, it's going to be student and course. And now what I need to do is I need to uh, make the migrations again. And then I can migrate again. And if I start the server, I can go ahead and try to add that relationship again. So I'll try to put Anthony back in math and hit save. And now I get an error. It says enrollment with the student and course already exists. So that's exactly what I want. And now there's only going to be one unique row for the student and course combination. So the last thing I wanna show you is how to work with this in code. So what I'll do is I'll start up the shell. So uh, shell, and I'm going to import everything. So from dot, or let's say from example dot models, I'm going to import uh, student course and enrollment so we can see how these work. Let me clear that out. So the first thing I wanna do is I just wanna show you how to query. So if I start with a course, uh, let's say uh, math. So we'll have course, objects, gets, and we'll have PK equals one. I know that's math. So we look at it, we see course math. So if I wanna see all the students enrolled in math, I still have the students field on the course. So I can say math.students.all. And that gives me both Anthony and Brittany because they are enrolled in the course. If I get a particular student, so we'll say Anthony. So uh, student objects get and Anthony is one. We see I have Anthony here and I'll clear that. And I can get all the courses that Anthony is enrolled in. It should be one. So Anthony the course set because there is no field here. So I have to use set. So course set and then all, and we see Anthony is only enrolled in math. If Anthony were enrolled in more courses, you would see the other courses here. So now let me show you how to create these relationships in code. Let's say I wanted to add Anthony to uh, computer science. So let me get computer science here. So computer science is going to be course uh, objects get, and then PK is going to be equal to two. And then I can, do something like uh, computer science uh, members, or not members, I'm thinking of groups, but students in this particular case, computer science dot students dot add. And what I want to do is I want to add Anthony. But in addition to simply adding Anthony to the group, there's something else I need to do. I need to specify the extra information. So to do that, it's something called through defaults. And what I can have is something like uh, date enrolled. And I can put in a date. So for date, I believe it's uh, Django dot, well, this is going to fail probably. 
So let's leave the date and roll blank and see if I can get away with that. And instead I'll use the final grade as an A. So this is a dictionary. I'll add it. We have invalid syntax somewhere. Uh, final grade. Oh, this is a dictionary. It should be a colon. And there should be a string for final grade. This isn't JavaScript. So add a quote. Okay, so it says it has an invalid date format. Let's see if I can just go ahead and type it in as a string. So 2020-05-01. Okay, so it allowed me to add it and then I can do um, computer science.save. And now if I look at Anthony and get all of his enrollments, so Anthony Corset all, we see Anthony is now enrolled in computer science. And there are other ways you can do this. You can create an enrollment directly. So you can create the enrollment and specify the student in the course and the date enrolled in the final grade. So this works just like any other model. You can do that if you want, or you can create one right away. So I can say computer uh, science dot students create, and we'll create the name of the students. So let's say Diana, and then we need the through defaults again. So through defaults, uh, we have date enrolled, we'll say 2020-04-02. And then the final grade will be null, so I won't add it. And then I can save this, and it's going to save both the computer science model and the Diana object. So now if I do something like, uh, let's see, Diana equals student objects get PK equals four. I can say Diana course set dot all. And we see that she is enrolled in computer science. So using these extra models, a third model to represent the relationship is pretty straightforward to use. And it comes in handy a lot of times when you're designing your models. So if you were ever wondering how to do that in Django, this is how to do it. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.